Cleveland Helicopter Services here in Plymouth, Indiana. And I'm here with the Alpha Flight Enstrom 280FX. And what we are going to talk about is flying with the doors off. And we'll actually go through a door removal and reinstallation on the Enstrom 280FX. The doors are a little bit different than the uh, F model and the C model. And so it may be interesting to some of you uh, how they actually come on and off. It is important to have a some sort of a rack made up to protect your doors uh, so the paint don't get scratched. Uh, have, have a plan of where you're going to store the doors when you remove them from the helicopter. Uh, this is something that I made when I had uh, my helicopter. It's made out of some PVC with uh, pipe insulation and uh, just protects the doors from being scratched. Okay, so let's uh, talk a little bit about door doors off flying. Some helicopters actually have a set never exceed speed for when the doors are off. The Enstrom does not list a V&E for doors off operation. Uh, it is just up to the pilot uh, to use discretion uh, as to what speed feels safe with the doors off. It is very important not to uh, have items in the cockpit that are insecure. Things to consider would be your VFR paper chart, uh, even your phone on a suction cup near the open door, uh, the POH, the aircraft airworthy certificate registration. Uh, these things can blow out if you haven't uh, given it some thought on how you're going to secure them. And if they blow out of the aircraft, they could easily get caught up in the tail rotor um, and cause a, a tail rotor failure, uh, which we talked in another video of how to land a helicopter with a tail rotor failure. Okay, we flew this helicopter uh, to Chicago and back uh, the other day with a student uh, with, with the doors off. And the day before, we had flown with the doors on. And so another thing to consider is and it was pointed out by my student because he's in his first 10 hours of flight training. Um, he pointed out how different it was to fly with the doors off. Just a total different feeling. And he felt like he was starting over uh, when we took off without the doors. Just that all that wind blowing up against your side. And uh, so something to think about. It's going to be a different feel. You're going to get uh, some noise from the wind uh, going across your uh, headset microphone uh, may be more difficult to uh, hear air traffic control and and the intercom depending on the quality of your headsets okay so i think i'll have uh, the camera move in on the other side and i'll go around and we'll walk through a removal so Let's look through the inside of the cabin. The first thing we'll do is just open the door and we are going to remove the hydraulic ram that holds the door open and the strap that keeps it from going open too far. That's step one. So let's get an angle where we can see the inside from the opposite side of the aircraft. Okay, so the first way to get this process done, the first step to get this process done, would be to remove this Phillips screw. That's the strap that protects the door from overextending the ram. The next step would be to use a flat screwdriver or dry, uh, pry bar. And you've got a little pin that rotates up off of this hydraulic ram, ball joint, if you can see that. A little bit of prying action pops this off, helps if you just wiggle the door a little bit. Now, at this point, you protect the ram 
and you latch the door and come around the other side with the camera. So you'll need two 7 16 wrenches. You've got one bolt to remove up here. And it has a nylock nut on it. Once you get past the nylock, you can use just your fingers to remove that. And the nice thing is having the door latched, the ram's already off, the strap's off, so the latch is holding this all together until it's time to pull the door off. And then there won't be anything else holding it because we did the inside work and we can lift it straight away. Okay, so I pull this bolt out. There's a little spacer that went in there in between the top of the door hinge and the bottom of the hinge that's on the aircraft. And so I'll just put these all back together put them in my pocket so I don't lose it. Now, I'm going to open the door, but I'll be careful because the top pin is out. I'm going to roll it away, lift it up, and with my hand I'm grabbing that ram so it doesn't fall down. You can see the pin on the bottom of the helicopter that would go into the hole on the door jam. Okay, so let's just reverse all this. To reinstall the door, I'm holding this ram up. I drop the ram on the inside. With my finger, I'm going to find this hole, set it down in. Now I'm going to get the door in the approximate position for closing it. I latch it. So now the the door is secure by way of the latch. We get our hardware back out. Insert a spacer. Add the washer and the locking nut. Seven sixteenths wrenches. Doesn't have to be tight, you just take it to where the threads are getting into the nylock. Open the door back up. First thing we'll do is put the ram back on and you could go to the other side and get a view for, for the uh, reinstallation of the ram. Okay so you have to push the ram in to get the angle right. Get it lined up with the ball, and it takes some pressure to get it to pop back on there. There it goes. This pin goes in a little bitty hole and rotates down. Extension safety limiter, Phillips screwdriver, and we've reinstalled the door. While we're in the instrum here, let's just take a look at the, the controls. Um, the student that uh, I recently had here in his first 10-hour uh, block of Enstrom flying, 
He uh, had only had a discovery flight of 30 minutes in at Robinson, and the first thing he noticed is the cyclic. Each of us had our own cyclic, and I, I believe and he believed that it added uh, to the success of him catching on to the hovering so soon. Uh, the fact that he had his own cyclic, and the fact that the Enstrom is a very stable helicopter with the uh, fully articulated rotor system. And he liked the fact that it has a trim for the cyclic to take the load off wherever the cyclic needs to be. Um, the Robinson R44, what it has is a hydraulic system that makes it easy to push in any direction, but it doesn't hold it in that spot unless it's equipped with uh, a very expensive uh, Genesis Autopilot. Uh, the Enstrom, you can actually, in cruise flight, use this trim to adjust the cyclic to be where it needs to be for the, the flight conditions. And you're not going to fly hands off, but you could easily demonstrate that the aircraft does not need your hand to be constantly inputting on the cyclic once you have it trimmed out. So that covers the Enstrom 280FX uh, door removal. Some cautions about flying with doors off. And if you like the video, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell and you'll be notified about additional training videos uh, in the future. Thank you for watching.